Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this expedition truck. So in this video, I'm going to start assembling the battery for the electrical system. I'm building a 24 volt LFP battery. So I've got 24 280 amp hour 3.2 volt cells from EVE or EVE, however you pronounce it. This is them. So I'm going to build three 24 volt batteries and then connect them in parallel. So there'll be eight cells in series times three and then they'll be connected in parallel. So what I'm doing at the moment is just organizing the cells into the most common serial numbers. They've all got a serial number on them, but because these cells are B grade, they're not all made in the same batch. I just want to get them all organized into eight sets of the most common serial numbers, the ones that were built closest together. And then I'll start top balancing them all. So I've just got a little, little sticky note and here's the serial number here. So I'm just gonna write the end of the serial number on each pad, then get them organized, and then I'll start top balancing them. So, thank you all for watching, and let's get started. Got all the serial numbers written down. So they're all a seven, six, they all start with seven, six, eight, except for these two, which are seven, six, seven. So they're obviously from a different batch entirely, but the rest of them are all seven, six, eight, XXX. So now I'm just going to organize them in basically in numerical order and then split it up into three packs of eight. Got my packs worked out. So I started off with the 767s because that's they're obviously from an earlier batch entirely. We've got the two 767s and then we go into the 768s. Starts with 316 and it ends in 480. And some of them are exactly the same. So we've got 768438. We've got three of those. I'm guessing that means that they are from the exact same batch, possibly, I'm not entirely sure. But that's how I've organized it. So these, so these is three 24 volt batteries. Initially, I was planning on just building one big battery, but I was advised against that because if one cell fails, it takes out your whole battery. So with this way, if one cell goes down, I can just remove that battery and replace the cell and I'll be able to run off the other two batteries or you know, even run off one battery if, if worst case scenario, instead of one cell going down and taking out the whole battery. So this is just a, a better way to set it up. Now that I've got them split into their, their th three packs, I'm gonna get the charger, you connect them all in parallel and uh, connect the charger to it to top balance them and bring all the voltages of each cell in each pack up to the same level and then I'll build a case for it. This is the charger. So at the moment I've got, I've got the charger switched on, it's connected to the battery on the positive, but the negative's not on. And it needs to be connected to a load to be able to read a voltage, I'm pretty sure, and to be able to adjust the voltage. This box stops it from emitting any charge when it's not connected to a load. So. I've just got the negative off and there's a little knob down here, down there, that little one, that you can change to adjust the target voltage, what you, what you want your cell, what you want your battery to be. So this is set to 3.64 and that's what I've told, what I've been told is a, a good target. So when you put one, now that I can, now that I've got the target set, I'll put the negative on So now the current is climbing. So it, it shows you the amps that are going into it and the voltage, but we've set the target voltage. So you can adjust this to increase the current that's going into it. And it may increase the voltage a bit, but the target voltage remains the same. So it won't overcharge the cell. So I think we want it to be about, or oh, the other way, about 40 amps. Now we just leave that to charge. And as, as the charge builds in the battery, this current will decrease and decrease and decrease. And we wanna leave it on charge until the current going into it is 0.1 of an amp. And that means that all the cells are balanced and charged. 
It's been a bit over a week since I, since I started charging these packs and I've got them all charged up and balanced. We did have a bit of a failure with one of them. I didn't really understand the way that adjustable charger worked and I accidentally set the target voltage too high for one of the packs and I charged it to about 4.5 volts. It's meant to be about 3.2. And some of the sales did swell up a little bit. I think I caught it early enough not to do any really significant damage to the pack, but there's gonna be a bit of a question mark around that pack. And at that point, the production process of filming kind of fell apart. So I'm gonna make a separate video on what happened with that pack and what I've done to rectify it. The next thing I need to do is make a case for each one of these and the BMS units have arrived. I've got three of these, the daily 250 amp hour BMS. So there'll be one of those on each pack. And now I know the LFP experts out there will say that top balancing you know, battery packs in this way is not necessarily the best way to do it, but it's the way that I was advised to do it from a knowledgeable electrician that's helping me and I'm happy with it. So that's it for this week. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.